Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. Today, I'm going to show you how to have your player continue from where they left off, even if you have multiple worlds. Now, before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily. Now, I learned this trick from Darius Guerrero, the creator of Dear Evil XE. He used this hack in his game and he was kind enough to share his tricks. A lot of modern games, for example, Roller Splat or Color Bump 3D, once you play a level, then you, you're done with that level and you don't play it again. And honestly, this kind of hurts my feelings a little bit because I've been making a lot of levels. Just have somebody play it once and not play it again kind of crushes my soul a little bit but at the same time makes that soul stronger look if this is what people enjoy playing they don't want to play the same level twice then i'm going to just make it easy and that's the way my game's going to be now you don't have to do this you can have a level ui where you pick level one two three and they all unlock if you just want your players to continue from where they left off this is how you do it see i got a lot of levels going on here I'm trying to finish this game this month and here's the play button this play button will continue every time wherever the player left off. And what you do is you just use a lock button. It's very simple. Here I have the lock button two, and then all the other lock buttons, three, four, five, six, seven, to right now I have 39 levels and place them on top of each other. So initially, when you hit the play button, what it will do is it will take you to level one. And here's level one. Once you complete level one, you'll go over here to level clear. And you'll see this will load. And what you do is you grab a single unlock right here. You bring it over and then you label it lock two. And what that lock two coincides with is lock two from right here. So think about it. Player plays level one, beats level one, gets hey congratulations level cleared and in that level is a piece that notifies the main menu to unlock level two so if a player plays level two dies closes the game because they're upset and it goes back to the game two hours later they'll be loaded to the main menu screen and when they hit play lock two is above the play button and will cause the player to jump to level two and skip level one. It's very important that you have lock through touch unclicked. If you have it clicked, then I don't know what's gonna happen. Just don't have it clicked, have it unclicked. And the same thing will happen once you beat level two, you go to congratulations on beating level two. And in this UI is a single unlock for level three. And that unlock for three, will then become available here and it's above level two. There is no block through touch. When the player goes back to the main menu, they'll be able to skip the first two levels and go directly to level three. That's the build box tutorial for today. I hope it's useful. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.